Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I've finally got time to make that earth element video. Those of you who enjoyed the fire element that I did, I think two or three weeks ago, I did two videos on that, I think. Did I do two videos or three videos? I can't remember. But there was a lot to say with fire. This time there's just gonna be one video all about the earth element. I'm not gonna be talking about politics. So for some of you that might be a welcome relief. You might be like, oh good, I'm glad to be somewhere where there is someone who's not talking about politics. But if you want to hear about that kind of thing, then I do recommend, you know, go and keep up to date and, and watch those kind of videos if that's what you want to do. But otherwise, you're well, very welcome to be here and distract your mind, divert your mind, relax while well, contemplating the wonders of Vedic astrology. So I'm going to draw up a chart diagram and I'm going to mark out the earth houses. And we're going to discuss just a couple of points. I don't have too much to say here. I will also be doing a pick a card tomorrow that will be all about money because I wanted to keep with the earth theme that we've got going on. And last week I did Mother Earth, message from Mother Earth. Uh, so you can see I've been thinking about this earth element for a while. But tomorrow we'll look at money. I think that's going to be the topic that we cover. Okay, so earth. Now these are the Artha houses and Artha equals resources, right? Arthur resources. It's our stuff. So where is our stuff kept? Well, we're looking at this house, this house, and this house here. Second, sixth, and tenth. Last time we looked at first, fifth, and ninth. And it was really interesting because those houses, we've got Mars, Sun, and Jupiter. Look at that, no Saturn. And if you remember when I was talking about the fire element, I said that it's very much a thing of the now. The flame is alive now, right? And, and the fire element within us and within our chart is very much representative of the now. There's no time element there. Whereas what do we have here? We've got Venus here, right? We've got Mercury here. Who do we have here? Saturn. Saturn? It's all about time. So we've got a time dimension in here, which is so interesting because time, Father Time, right, which is Saturn, Saturn is definitely Father Time, but Mother Earth, these are feminine, these three, these are all female. And it's quite incredible that Father Time does his work within the Earth as well. And what I'll do is I'll put up a couple of pictures by my side of this dandelion flower that I cut from the garden and I put it in a mug, which is like my little vase, and I put other flowers and I made this pretty little thing. But I picked a dandelion as this beautiful yellow flower in the middle. And what I observed over just a period of a few days was that the dandelion at about 4.30 in the afternoon would close up. And out in the garden, the ones that are still rooted in the earth, they closed up at 4.30 as well. And that blew my mind because it was like, wow, I've cut this thing and it's in water and it's in a mug and it's in a shady room, this room, right, which receives no sun. And yet it knew to close at 4.30 in the afternoon. So look at that. We've got Father Time, we've got Saturn here as part of the Earth mixture. So there is a, definitely a time dimension uh, in, in the, these elements, which is so interesting. But back to Arthur and resources, this is our physical stuff. And one of the things, so what I might call this video, and I haven't worked it out yet, but I might be calling it something like the height of illusion. So why would I call it that, or the greatest illusion? I haven't decided 100% yet, but 
Earth kind of is the greatest illusion. Why? Because it does represent our physical stuff, especially this house here, Venus, with our physical stuff, right? Physical stuff is definitely here. Art, food, you can touch it. Venus, the senses, right? Why do we have senses? You touch it, you press it, it's hard. You know, like I'm pressing this laptop, it's really hard and the tripod thingy there and this, this is hard, right? But it's an illusion because the scientists have drilled deeply into an atom and they've found more space than they have stuff. Apparently, if you suck out all the space from a human body, the stuff that's there fits into the size of a sugar cube. So that's quite incredible, isn't it? That all this stuff that we see, that seems hard, that seems heavy, is just an illusion. And one of the things I think is that Earth represents the greatest illusion, the greatest of illusions in the chart. So one of the things I said about this house here was that this is the height of ego. And I'll put a link to that video so you'll be able to watch that one. What would this be? The height of, and I thought, control. We're seeing that now, <laughs> right? We've got Saturn in this house in Capricorn and it's definitely all about control. What about this here? And if this is our physical stuff and it's food and things that we can touch and we can use our senses to, to experience, I thought this would be illusion. The height of illusion. What is it to be materialistic, right? To be materialistic, you know, you're into stuff. And I was thinking about um, the different types of sort of stuff, as it were, in these three houses. It also got me thinking about classes of things. So when you're in this house and you're looking at products, you know, I, I shop at Primark. I buy my clothes at Primark. Or in America, that would be Target. Or in this country, it would be Kmart, right? But let's say if I had heaps of money, then, well, maybe I would be buying different brands or something. You know, you have your classes of brands here, right? I thought that was really interesting. This, you've got, um, what kind of stuff do you have here? Well, you have medicines. You've got... Um, Remedies, medicines, you know, bark flowers. I always think of bark flowers down here. But I also thought about classes. I thought about this class thing and I thought it could be, you know, it's like you have your brands up here, your different brands. So you've got your Primark or your Chanel or your Louis Vuitton or whatever it is, right? So <laughs> it's two ends of the spectrum right there, big spectrum. But I also thought about, let's see, I'm sure I wrote this down somewhere, yeah, classes, classes of people. Down here, you're dealing with different um, classes of people. People are classed. So, you know, the legal system is here and things get technical with people. You know, socioeconomic classes, you can start to um, be dividing that here. Right, and this is ego as well, dividing people into classes and things like that. And then I thought about this house here and I was thinking about classes of power, right? And we can see that, and I will touch on the election. How are we doing, 10 minutes? I'll touch on the election very briefly. But you can see different classes of power very nicely right now. You've got, you know, um, you know, Trump and Biden vying for power. And then it feels like Rupert Murdoch makes a call and you know he makes a phone call and then it, you know one of them is tossed in the bin and one of them is propping up and but he might change his mind and you know it's a totally different class of power right overnight people that can think they're up here you know someone else comes along and they're instantly down here type thing classes of power you can see that here 
and yeah this thing of illusion the earth is an illusion i just think that's so fascinating heavy illusion is in these houses and the interesting thing that we've got at the moment so we do have saturn here moving through this house and we've got rahu and ketu here let's put a little ra k and we've got saturn here And as he passes through this house, and really we're going to be in the thick of it next year, he's going to be materializing illusion, you know, making things real, making things unreal. And different groups of us are going to see different things. So some of us will see. Um, the agenda behind. Some of us will see the motivation. Some of us will see the surface. Some of us will see what the celebrities are telling us. Some of us will see, and we'll all operate at different levels of this. It's really very interesting this time that we're going through right now. Another thing that's gonna happen next year, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a 2021 video. I might do it, I don't know when. I, I've been working on notes for the last week or two. So that's coming. I'm yet to, formulate my thoughts on all of that but um you know we're, we're gonna also have so we're gonna have one of the things i'm saying with rahu and venus here is that rahu is going to skew our vision we won't see things um, clearly and some of us will be looking at what's real and what's not real and we're going to be arguing about all that which everybody is at the moment and that's going to continue saturn's obviously materializing that as we move through this time the other thing that's going to happen is I do think that the powers that be that control everything, they're going to try and mm, manipulate culture and they're going to try to control us through our culture and how we interact with each other. And, you know, yeah, I've got a few interesting thoughts on that, but we're coming up to the 13 minute mark. I think I've said everything I wanted to say about the earth element. I think the main thing I wanted to say really about the earth element is that You know, it, it's seemingly the most real, but it's also the most unreal. It's the most illusory. It's, it's the biggest illusion. I hope I've communicated some of what I wanted to say, but hey, this is just food for thought. You know, this is just something to think about. If you're going through your chart and you're looking at the earth element and you're seeing, okay, what's there? It's wonderful to have the earth element in a chart. It is grounding and it is, it is necessary. If you've got just a lot of, if you've got, for example, just a lot of fire and air and not much else, then, you know, that's per that person's life is going to be quite experiential, possibly. Um, earth energy does give a groundedness. It does give a solidity, especially up here. This is fixed as well. So if you've got a lot of Taurus or if you've got a lot of Venus, you know, um, there, there will be quite a stability to the life, I do think. But guys, I hope that that's been a nice distraction for you. Let me know in the comments below. I love reading what you have to say. Even if I can't get back to you, it just means that I'm busy making more content, but I read everything. So thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you next time.